Why do you think that is? You've got no idea at all. What have I done? Right. Yeah. You are weaving all over the road. Have you been drinking? No. Right, tell me why you're weaving all over the road, or is it because you've got your phone in your hand and you're feeling I'm recording um, being pulled over. You're recording being pulled over? Yeah. Mate, do you want to get right. out of the car, mate, please? Can you explain to me then why you're weaving all over the road? Uh, I don't feel that I was weaving all over okay. the road. At this stage, I'm going to caution you. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention now something later you're lying in court, anything you do say may be given evidence. Do you understand that caution? What's the caution about? Do you understand that caution? I don't understand what the caution is about. You don't? Okay. In simple terms, it means you do not have to say anything. That is your legal right. However... But what am I being accused of? Right. So for me to ask you some questions, yeah. I caution you, because anything you say after a caution is used as evidence. But I, I don't understand what I'm being accused of doing here. Yeah. Okay. I have explained that. Um, and the reason... Oh, excuse me. My legs are tired. The reason we have stopped you, first of all, let me just backtrack a little bit. Yeah. Do you understand the caution? No, I don't understand. Okay, I'll explain the caution to you. You do not have to say anything, that is your legal right. However, if this was to proceed to a court case or something similar. But what, what have I done? Hang on, that let, me explain the, let me explain the caution to you. Yeah. If this was to proceed to court and you said something there that you could have said here, that could affect your case. Does that make sense to you? It makes sense, but I, I still don't understand what I'm being accused of doing. Right, OK. I'm going to ask you again, have you been drinking this No, evening? I haven't been drinking. OK. The, when I said to you, do you know why I've stopped you? Do you have any idea why I've pulled you over? No, I really don't. You no. don't? OK. I, I saw you as a police car and I overtook you. I knew you were behind me. Right. But I don't understand what I'm supposed to have done. Right. As I said to you, you were weaving all over the road. But I, I don't feel that I was weaving over the road. Right, I mean, right. but, uh, but that's honest, how I drive. Honest, what's your name? Tom. Tom. Right, Tom. I'm not asking you if you were weaving all over the road. I'm telling you you were weaving all over the road. OK, there's two of us in that police car. We followed you for quite some time and you were weaving all over the road. Well, in my opinion, I think that's an exaggeration. Well, it might be your opinion, sir, yeah. but there's two of us sitting in that police car. We've followed you for quite some time. We was also... It wasn't that long was because also, I overtook you. We was also made aware by another driver that he felt you was weaving all over the road. So that's now three people that have thought that person might be drink driving, which is why we have stopped well, you. Well, you're free to breathalyse me. Well, I know. Yeah. I just, I'm, I'm this was all supposed to be a nice easy little stop and we were going to have a word and then you started videoing me, so... Well, that's my freedom to do it, isn't it? Is it is right, absolutely. Yeah. So there's no need to be funny about that, I'm just, I feel safer if I'm recording it. You can record away? Yeah. Okay, I'll be honest, I can't smell any alcohol at all. You do look quite tired, are you tired? No, I'm alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a Your night eyes... owl. Sorry? I'm a night owl. A night owl, okay. Um. Where are you going now? Am I obliged to tell you where I'm going? Right. My job is road safety, yeah. okay? And I'm asking you where you're going. I'm not being nosy, I'm not I know being that. intrusive. I'm, it's just... The reason I'm asking you these yeah. questions is because I'm thinking, do you know what, you're weaving all over the road, you're telling me you're not tired, however, your eyes look a little bit glazy, I would think you do look a bit tired. Do you mind? That's in right in my face. Right, that just lights up your face a little bit so I can see that you are still looking a bit tired. Yeah. Alright? But now, I don't feel tired. I am tired. asking you just a civil question. Yeah. Where are you going? But what I'm asking is, am I obliged to tell you? You're not obliged to say anything. I've already explained that to you. Okay. I said you don't Hold have it, to mate. say anything. You are obliged to give me your date of birth. I thought I was on arrest you. But so, under, under what law? Okay. Under what law? Can you give me, your name is Tom Watt. 
But I don't understand. Okay, right, okay yeah. I'll explain because you're going to say, Andrew, why are you obliged? You have, you have carried out what's known as a moving traffic offence, i.e., you haven't kept the car in a straight line within the carriageway. Okay? Under that law, all right, we are entitled Un to. Under ask, which, which law? Hang on. Under the law of. Well, it's actually under a section of PACE, which is the Police and Criminal Evidence Act. Okay? I do not know what section it is because I'm not that clever. However, under PACE, I am allowed to ask you your name and date of birth, okay? I am allowed to do that. If you refuse to give me those details, I can arrest you. Hmm. Because you are refusing to give me details that I, I need to carry out my job. Now, it's simple to, I'll be absolutely honest with you, I don't want to arrest you. Yeah. Because again, I'll be absolutely honest with you, I'm very, very tired myself. I've been on duty a very long time, and what I would really like to do is get off home. Mm -hmm. But you're just... I'm not being funny. So I'm you just. Are, you are I'm, being very funny. Mate. I'm not. So I care about my rights. How old are you? As to what I'm being asked. Well, I've told you how to old what? are you? But I'm saying that I care about my rights. Mate, as to being look, asked. If you're driving a car on the road. Yeah. If you don't give me a name and address, you will be arrested. Simple as that. Okay. So give us your name, address, and date of birth, please. Okay. And where are you currently living? Is that where you're heading now? Right. What's your address? Okay. Right. I've been a policeman longer than you've been alive. Yeah, I'm right? sure and you I've have. I've never come but across I'm... such an obstinate person as you. I'm in not my being obstinate. I'm you obviously not obstinate. aggressive, am I? No, but you... I, I just care about my That's rights and had my door open, and then I, I don't well, really know what I'm being accused of. Well, you're welcome to join us at the side of the road here if you want to get out of your car. It's... I've asked you to get out once and you haven't. Well, I, I don't really understand what what law I've violated. That yeah, warrants we, being have my details taken. Right, I've well, told, we've told you that. You're moving across the carriageway. Your attention to we saw you at first, and then as we've overtaken another car, he's flashed his lights at us and pointed at you and is going like that, drinking. Oh, yeah, right? Well, that's, so his, that's what we've got behind that's you. That's stupid, Tom, isn't it? No, yeah. it's not. It happens every day, mate. Hmm. Tom, how do yeah. you spell your surname, please? Can I just write down your address, please? So I've got but what what because is the I purpose can't remember of this? It. Because I can't remember it, okay? Yeah. So if you, I know it's you what's got the option. actual address. I'm I am i am not sure that I don't Tom, have an option. You have, I'm telling you, you haven't got an option. Tell but, us your address or I'm gonna arrest you and take down the station. I've been on duty since seven o'clock and I can fill up with messing around with you. I'm, now give us your give us your address. Just give me your, uh, right, your address. Why is the vehicle registered at somebody in Ipswich then? Because why? they're so lame that they haven't sent the VC five yet. That's why. Uh, and postcode there, please. So I take it you don't get stopped by police very often? I try not okay. to. Good man. Right, just for your information, hmm. if the police ever police car on a dual carriageway, like we are on now, puts his blue lights on, never ever stop in the carriageway, as you did. Look up the road and you'll see we were oh, trying to pick a safe place for you to stop, i.e. the lay-by. If you looked up the road, you'd have seen the lay-by and that's where we wanted you to stop. Okay? So just be in future, if you see a police car behind you and they try and stop you, look for the safe place to stop. Never stop in a live lane. It's very dangerous, yeah? Okay. Right. Tom, can I ask you a question, please? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? I have a question. Have you had a bad experience with the police before? You get a lot of crime around here then. Uh, not a really. That's it, just for the minute while we're doing this. Can you yeah. just turn that off and just pop it down on the bonnet of the car? Yeah. Appreciate what you're saying, alright? Now, as it happens, I can't smell any alcohol in the car. I do believe you are just tired, although you're telling me you're I a night I, out. Yeah, the car was tired. weaving around in the road, and I, I believe, if you want to get into the whole human rights thing, that other people have a right to be able to use this road safely. Now, if you're driving yeah. unsafely, yeah. I think it's only fair but that we try I, and do I think it's about fair that. that I can tell that, that you've stopped me, okay, for that, but I don't know why I have to give you my, oh, my, my name and address. Right, I have explained that. Yeah. Under, under PACE, which is the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, which is what we work under, and I cannot remember what section it is, um, we, you have performed what I've said, I would explain, a moving traffic offence. Because of that, we can ask you for your details. If you refuse to give us those details, we have a power to arrest you. Uh -huh. That's got nothing to do with the police state. That is the rules we work under. The reason we work under those rules is because how on earth would we ever be able to enforce the law if we just went, OK, uh, sir, what is your name? And you went, not telling you. Three points on his licence. You've got three points on your licence, sir.
Right. And uh, what were the three points for? I don't remember. Traffic light. Traffic light. Or speeding, something like that. Tom, yeah. the majority of policemen in this country, we do their job to the best of their ability, all right? And I'm one of them. Uh -huh. I, I don't doubt that, no, not at all. I'm just, why... it's just, it doesn't matter what policeman pulled me over. I, I, right. I, I really, you if know... If I had yeah. any kind of issue, OK, yeah. I'd be sitting here thinking, four oh, blimey's filming me. You go away... You, you can't see that... your face, look, trust me. Don't care. See, look. Don't care. Just really? holding it there. Tom, yeah. I really don't care. So, as long as you don't put me on the internet, you put me on the internet, I might get a bit funny about it. However, if you do, as far as I'm concerned, I'm doing my job properly, I'm being polite, I haven't sworn at you, and everything else. Yeah. You ought to take that to Essex Police and make a complaint about me. I'm you not going to make ahead. a complaint, it's just in case anything else happens, that's all. I'll tell you what, yeah. I'll be absolutely honest with you, all right? Mm -hmm. Because you've been... I'm going to say the word, obstructive, all right? You've sat here a lot longer than what you needed to be. Uh -huh. All right? We stop a lot of people, and there's two reasons why people weave around in the road, really. One is they've been drinking, the other one is they're tired. Uh -huh. You do look tired. But when that, I that's, ask that's you... That's a matter of opinion, though, isn't it? I mean, I don't feel tired. No, I didn't I've say got, whether you felt tired. I've got slight idols look... that I've had since I was right. younger, but, you know, I don't... I didn't say you were yeah. tired. I said you looked tired, uh -huh. all right? Yeah, you're right, that is a matter of opinion. Hmm. However, I would argue that if someone looks tall, I hmm. could say they look tall, and if someone looks short, I could say they look short. Hmm. And therefore, if someone looks tired, in my opinion, they look tired, okay? Yeah. okay. Just, for, and for, just so you do know, if a policeman says you are drunk, hmm. we are legally, in law, uh, allowed to decide that someone is drunk. Well, without evidence. We are allowed, as police officers, to decide that somebody is drunk. We obviously can't just go, you're drunk. Mm. We have to put something down, uh, evidence that, and say they were drunk because. Okay, but we are allowed to do that. Now, you have sat here an awful lot longer than you ever needed to yeah. because you really have been a bit obstructive. Well, I've just wanted to make clear what, what it is that I've done. I've, and I explained that yeah, to you. And I don't feel that I've been obstructive. Either, well, you yeah. have because I, I explained to you why I needed your details and you didn't want to give them and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to give them. No, you didn't. No. However, you why I needed your details and you didn't want to give them and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to give them. No, you didn't. No. However, I, I, you know, you're just making life a bit difficult for yourself. When I said, where are you going? Mm. That wasn't to be nosy. That's because oh, I no, think it's that's not to be nosy. I, feel you're tired. I just value. You were weaving around in the carriageway, and I'm thinking, do you know, if this guy's got to go all the way down here and then up the A14 and then possibly to Lord only knows where, uh -huh. okay, I'm going to say to you, I tell you what, mate, what you need to do is perhaps pull over and have a cup of coffee. You're only going to, mm. which isn't actually that far away, so I'm not going to suggest that. And that's why I asked where you were going. Sure. And okay. I'm going to, you know, and I would ask, but, but to be honest, now the conversation's starting to drag on a bit, um, mm -hmm. I was going to ask you where you've been, because that would give me an idea of the sort of journey you'd had and maybe a reason why you were waving around the carriageway and why you were tired. Well, yeah. All right. Okay. And you're, you know, you're now yawning. I'm either boring. I'm cold, that's all. I'm, I'm really I'm cold. I'm boring you. I'm freezing cold. You're yeah. freezing cold. Yeah. That's another sign you're tired, because it's not actually that cold or even. The door's open, the window's open. Tom, I'm going to let you get on your way. Okay. All right. You be careful and uh, just pay attention to what you're doing because sure. you're weaving around in the carriageway. Okay, got it. Night, night. All right, night then.